my favorite parts of Worthington schools. We have a lot of options. IED being the first class you take freshman year. One of my favorite classes at Thomas so far. We made a lamp, I think out of like metal tubing. It's really hands-on, it's really fun. I still have it on my desk at home. It is a staple of my desk. My favorite was probably the like egg car project. It was so fun and so engaging and there was not a day that I didn't want to go to that class. That first engineering class we take IED is super hands-on and fun and really kind of draws you in. Working with power tools gives you confidence. I can go home and I can use those tools. You're able to like make something with a bandsaw. The other day we were taking apart a deck in our backyard and I was able to help with that. I just gained so much confidence. The biggest thing about STEM is just like the family. Middle schoolers go from like a school of like 500 kids to going to a school with like 1,800 kids. It's a big difference. It's a smaller community and it's a smaller environment than like the general population. Like a fish in a very big pond. You have the same people in every class so you really develop pretty deep relationships with not only the teachers but the students as well. It was almost a built-in group of friends because you would see them at school and then you would see them outside of school and you would already have that relationship built and it just made it so much easier. Walking into a high school that was larger than any high school that I had attended or that I had walked into before. It was intimidating to me as a parent. We sat in the cafeteria where the four STEM teachers did a presentation and they were a unified front. All the teachers for the STEM program are just phenomenal. They're really kind. It's a great team of teachers. They check up on you. They make sure that you're like doing your best. I learned so much last year and this year with those teachers. Mr. Brown and Miss Stanich and Miss Hertenstein, Miss Court and Miss Laughlin. Those are like your people. They're always there for you. I absolutely was a huge fan of them as educators and frankly of them as fellow parents. I didn't feel like I had to sacrifice anything I wanted to take. I think I got more from STEM. You're older, you're actually able to take more APs. I was able to get more in my schedule because I was done with, with science. You have more room in your schedule, you're able to get into that more and actually get more than your peers. My counselor made it work and I ended up doing four years of EBA and four years of STEM and I definitely wouldn't have it any other way. I was able to go into an internship with Abbott. It makes me so thankful that I was in STEM. I honestly feel that anyone could walk into this program and do well just because I genuinely think anyone could. The teachers all have your best interests in mind. They want to help people who are also passionate about STEM. You want to be an engineer if you don't want to be an engineer, if you just like to make stuff, if you just want to learn in a little bit of a different environment, if you want that family aspect. There's no negative to trying it. As long as you want to learn, you can learn. They will work with you. You don't have to worry about like failure because they will not let you fail. It's just been fantastic for my kids. Just do it.